Hi, Graeme from Concept Music here, doing a slightly deeper dive into buying a secondhand saxophone. You might have seen our earlier video on giving some general guidelines about what to look for buying a secondhand instrument. So specifically now we're going to talk about a saxophone. A bit bigger, a bit more expensive, a bit more complicated than say the trumpet or the uh, trombone, so a little bit more to look out for. Um, but same, start from the same basic guidelines we've given you on the other instruments. Have an overall look at it, look at the case, open it up, check it for dents, check it for dents down the bottom where they sometimes get dropped. If it looks in good condition, you're off to a good start. A little bit of lacquerware here and there, that's not a problem, particularly around where you might attach your uh, attach the strap, the neck strap. If it's got a few scratches, it doesn't matter. Dents is a different issue, because even though it's a big instrument, you can get constrictive dents in the bottom of it, and they're quite expensive, quite difficult to get to. So factor in, if you see dents or scratches, just factor in that you might have to spend a few hundred dollars on getting those sorted out. Pads are the biggest thing though. The pads on a saxophone, if it makes that nice poppy sound, it probably means the pads are in pretty good condition, it's working okay. The best test of course is to play it. So if you've got your child or you're a player yourself, put it together, play it and see if it works. While you're at it, you might check the mouthpiece. Check the mouthpiece, it's quite common on a saxophone that's been played for a few years to be completely chewed out or even chipped or cracked. Easy to replace, just factor it into the price. So for 60 odd dollars, you can buy a brand new mouthpiece, which you might want to do for just for your own health sake anyway. But the biggest thing with saxophone is the pads. Now, if it's only a few years old and it's a Yamaha, this is a Yamaha student model. The biggest, the most popular student model we sell is the YTS 280. You're looking at around $2,000, $2,200 to buy a brand new one. So what should I pay for a second hand one? Rule of thumb again, half to two thirds of the price. So if it's 2,200 new and you've seen one for a thousand, that's probably a pretty good buy if it's in still in new condition and it's a current model. A bit older, a bit less, if it's only been played for a few months and for some reason somebody's moved on to another instrument or changed their mind, you know, maybe a little bit more. But please be wary of the pads, particularly on a very old instrument. If it's an old instrument just stuck away in a cupboard for years and years and years, you need to be aware that even though the pads look okay, they're made out of leather and they could have dried out. So two things to look for are very old pads, which when you open up the keys and look at them closely, they should be nice and clean and look fresh. If you can see obvious holes in them where the, where the keys have actually been worn through, that's a big problem and you need to factor in probably a five to six hundred dollar repair job just to replace all the pads plus you're probably going to be without the instrument for a month as well so a little can be a little bit tricky looking at the pads on a saxophone if you don't know what you're looking for look at the ones you can see make sure they haven't got very deep dirty indentations worse still that they've got holes in them um, because that's the common thing we see with an old saxophone is that they come in nothing seals properly nothing closes it doesn't pop and they need to be repadded. So if you've already spent five or six hundred dollars, then the repairer says, and I've just got a quote for you for seven hundred dollars to fix it, you back up into the price of a brand new instrument. So what would be the point in buying a second hand one? Sax is a great instrument, it's extremely popular. This is the tenor sax, the alto is slightly smaller, but the same rules apply. It's um, a really terrific instrument and uh, an essential part of every band, of course. Any questions or problems, you're welcome to email us. Look at the model, look at the brand. If it's a Yamaha, if it's a current model, you're probably pretty safe. Uh, a bit older, factor it into the price, factor in a service of $110 at least, just to go over it and to get all the pads re-leveled, get all the springs retention so that you can play it most easily.